けど頼りない突き刺でもきっと飛べるさ Beleza, então galera, estamos aqui de volta com mais um vídeo E dessa vez, trazendo para vocês Digimon Story, sai Brasil Mas então, eita <risos> Mas então galera, continuando aqui o... o negocinho aqui do Pete Pete Parece que, eu não sei, o velho chamou o Pete de Miko E eu achei isso meio estranho Mas anyway, vamos falar aqui com ele Oh, it's you, huh? Do you do you know what I am? Because I don't. I don't feel anything at all. Not a thing. Eita porra. What happened? What? Pete's appear in front of you? Hmm, just come back here now. A new case just came in. That's cause for concern. It could be related to what you just witnessed. Huh. Eita. Interessante, interessante. Muito interessante. Vamos lá. Old Man Mizushima. Memory up. Bom. I have been looking for so long. My Miko, my poor cat. Please find Miko. Miko, huh? Memory up. É o velho lá? Não sei. This case comes in from old man Mizushima. You might remember him as the one behind those uh, four urban legends you recently investigated with your cult club of members. It well, it well and truly is a small world out there, even when it feels bigger than ever in some ways. Anyway, he sta tasked us with tracking down his cat. Frankly. Doing times like this, there's something to be said for a down-to-earth gig like this one. Mizushima said he'd be waiting for you at K-Cafe, although he didn't actually state when. It wouldn't hold to go on ahead and check things out at the cafe, so go to that. Go to that. Vamos lá então. Estranho, estranho. Bem, vamos usar o elevador aqui mais rápido. Eita! It feels like it stopped. I wonder if it was a earthquake. Hmm. Welcome. Grab a drink, have a seat, and stay as long as you like. An earthquake? No, I didn't feel anything of the sort. Hmm. So old man Mizushima. It's not in rear in right now, alright. You already met him? They're early in the morning, right? Might as well come back around the same time and see if she shows up. The next day, early morning. Let's head to the cafe at May Mizushina. She'd hopefully be there at this hour. Hmm, vamos lá. E aí? Oh, it's you again. I've been waiting, you know. Hmm, you stopped by yesterday afternoon, but couldn't find me? You must have just had bad timing, kid. I've been waiting here forever for you. What done is done. Let's just let begones be begones and start searching now. My Miko, you see, he's inside this wall here. Are you at K Cafe right now? I'm picking up readings of really strong digital wave vibrations from the fourth floor. It's a really huge current cursing through here, there, here, there, here, no say. My money is on the, the old time capsule being the cause of them. What on earth? What's that? An earthquake? No, I can confirm it's definitely not. There's no movement. I can confirm that it's definitely not. There's no movement here on the first floor. We're just sensing the intense digital wave. Huh? It's... 
I don't wanna know. It's better not knowing. Things are fine just that they are now. It's better if they don't change. Please stop. Don't make don't wake me up from this. It's Miko. No, I'm Pete. Whenever you are Miko, just come back to me. No, I can't. That's you must rest of me. I not talk to me, please. Leave me alone. Let things stay just the way they are. I'm sorry, Miko. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, did I finally get through to you again? The vibrations have stopped for now, but the digital wave is still as intense as ever. There's something big brewing there. As I suspect earlier, they are coming from that old vacuum tube computer inside the wall. The digital waves are just gushing out of there from the old internet lines the computer is hooked up to. So much so much so in fact that they are forming a cybernetic ley line, a digital line of sorts. If this thing persists, it is only a matter of time before the effects are felt in the real world. Takumi, I need you to go inside that vacuum tube computer and do what you can to stop it. I'm counting on you. Okay. Provavelmente é o Pete lembrando do passado dele que tá causando isso. Please, let me be. Don't wake me from this dream. What's going on Pete? with Pete? Only one way to find out. Okay. Uh, temos vários caminhos. Vamos. Bem, eu acho que não tem. Oh, eu acho que tem um item ali. Tem. Tem que ter. Tem. Isso. HP spray. Ei. Ei. Eu já vi que ali não tem nada. Tá, eu quero voltar para tentar ver se eu consigo. Não, pera, pera. Ah não, aqui não tem nada. Ok. Tá, eu vi que tem um item ali. Ali tem outro, já achei outro. Então a gente tem que voltar aqui. Tem aqui e eu consigo já pegar um item. Ok. Wingard X. Ou seja, vai ter copas de vento. Entendi. Vamos vir pra Não Caramba Pra cá e vamos ver o que a gente consegue Vamos continuar pra direita Mano, esse lugar aqui é grande Iá do céu Monzaimon acho que vai ser bom Até eu conseguir a data dele Pra depois facilitar a hora de eu fazer Os mega Ok, aqui é a saída então ainda não tem, não devo vir para cá. Vamos ver aqui. Tem alguma coisa? Tem. Dá pra ver daqui. Ok. Friendship. Bom, muito bom. Muito bom mesmo. Eita. Puta merda, eu tenho uns turnos aí. Ok. Vamos continuar então. Tá, aqui a gente tem SP Restrainment. Ok, se eu me engano, só falta um lugar pra mim ir. Agora, eu tenho que voltar pra caralho. Não é pra caralho, pra caralho, né? Mas é um pouco. Eu não, não vou ter que voltar, né? Então, anyway. Opa. Ou será que eu já fui ali? Agora eu realmente não lembro. Eu consegui 100%? Não. Que porcaria. Tá, é, é, vou ter que dar um puta loop, tá ligado? Oxi, Ok, tem os dois Gatomon. Tem algum item aqui, né? 
tem. Brave Point B. Ok. Eita porcaria. Tá, vamos lá. Agora é só a gente ir pra saída. Mais easy. Deixa eu ver o que, que tinha falado da minha Digiline. Pra você, né? Mas então. Ok. Uh... Vamos então. Se não me engano, é pra cá isso. Yes. Why? Why do you have to know who I really am? No response. Let's find Pete. Ok, vamos lá então. Aqui a gente tem meio que uma queda, eu não quero usar ela. Bem, ali é a saída, pronto, só aqui vai levar a gente. Tá, é ali do outro lado. É, deixou. Usar isso aqui só pra garantir, vá. Ok, ali a gente tem alguma coisa. Ataque Restraining. Ok, vamos lá ver que porcaria é aquela. É o Pit já? Será? Nakano Broadway Construction, Part 1 Construction plans for Nakano Broadway are by abbreviated as NB Right now in 1959 Ultimately taking 7 years to complete The reason for the lengthy duration was due to a major issue that routinely manifested throughout the process During land leveling underground water leaked resulting in an immediate halt to any and all work within the area a large lake formed in the side was left alone for a long time. Seriously, large fish appeared in mass, mace, attracting fishermen. Records also indicate people better there in large numbers and take a child at one point drowned in the lake. And that a child? Huh. Today something terrible happened. A strange Digimon appeared in the middle of my bed. It was so cold in there. Even when I tried calling out for help, nobody came for me. But these two detectives actually showed up. Kyoko and Takumi. Takumi asked me who I was, but I said I didn't know. So Kyoko gave me a name. She decided to call me Pete because I'm some sort of time capsule. Yeah, Pete, that's my name. I made me so happy to have one. Names really are special things to have. Huh, Pete. Hmm. Então tem que achar esses pequenos uh, partes de memória para conseguir informações para poder ir atrás do Pete. Hum, entendi. Vamos então agora subir. Uh, ok. Eu nem li, tá ligado? Bem, vamos começar aqui por baixo, primeiramente. Peguei. Hum. Temos uma queda. Aqui tem um. É, tem um pedacinho de memória aqui. Na Candle Brother Construction Part 2. No blueprint exists for NB. 1961. So the Japanese government commenced its incoming doubling plan in order to re energize the post war economy. In tandem with unemployment police, policies. Public works projects flooded the country with the major construction companies a lot of huge budgets. Around 1972, one such project, the main route for the Shout and Expressway, and completed ahead of schedule. It was at the point that attention turned back towards NB. NB é na Canal Broadway. Tá, isso é meio óbvio, mas, né? Hydro labor laborers and resources were the funnel into this area from central Tokyo, and which point work of the building commenced in earnest. 
is likely that there wasn't time to even think of preparing proper blueprints for NB at that stage. Yoshito really likes the girl named Fuyume Yuki. He always sits me on his lap and tells me all about her. Everything is perfect about her, he says her singing, her dancing, her looks, everything. He says she's one in a million on my idols. I can't, I can't do any of those things, I can't sing, I can't dance, but what I can do is curl up and fall asleep on Yoshito's lap. I love doing that. I also l just love hearing Yoshito talk to me so happily. Huh. Ah, interessante. Uh, ali a gente tem um esquema. Tem alguma coisa aqui? Tem. Eu acho que ali em cima tinha outro, mas eu não, eu não vi. Nagano Broadway Construction Part 3 With no blueprints to draw upon, concrete was poured and rebar was erected. Toilet, tailored, I don't say, tailored, alguma coisa assim, to the land around the site. When construction was concluded four years later, the final building had three underground floors as well as ten floors above ground. East Asia's greatest commercial building was therefore constructed on little more than sheer willpower. However, this came to cost some aspect of NB's integrity. The escalator, for instance, only connects to the first three floors. Most of the underground floors have also gone unused in the ensuing years. Such quirks are a direct result of the circumstances surrounding the building and inception. Building's inception. Yoshito told me what he had he and his son have been to a world a world's fair once. He said that the line to see the moon rocks was really long, so long that it made them tired. But he said his son still have a good time. People also call Yoshito Chief Mizushima. His full name is Yoshito Mizushima. Yoshito Mizushima. Yoshito is a big important man in the computer room, so he doesn't get to go out with his son much. He's glad they got to see the World's Fair. I wish I could have seen the World's Fair with Yoshito too, but he and I are almost together in the computer room. Always together. So that's okay, I'm content. Yoshito Mizushima. É o velho, não é? Então, o Pete era o gato, entre aspas, do velho. Ele era meio que, tipo, o Digimon que apareceu na construção da Nakano, por isso que ele tava... Fantasiado aquela idol, que o, o Mizushima, o velho, gostava da idol. Hum. Pera aí, deixa eu adivinhar o Pita no final disso aqui. Talvez. Não. Caramba, tem uma queda aqui, não dá pra ver de onde, tá ligado? Tem uma coisa aqui? Tem, ok. Escape Gate. Nakano Broadway Construction, Part 4. In most cases, large commercial buildings are run by their owners, who control everything from PR to tenants and internal bylaws. P8 uh, was an exception to the rule. From the very start, shopping and residential space alike were sold piecemeal. People who bought their real estate inside a building were then free to utilize, utilize it however they pleased. Because of this, soon after NB opened, shop owners and residents start remodeling work on their respective stores and apartments. In the end, this means that formal blueprints of, for NB weren't drafted until 8 years after the building was orig originally completed. Even those early days, the building's layout had already become too unwidely for anyone to fully grasp at that stage. Yoshito always has me sitting on his lap, patting me head all nice and gently. I love Yoshito. Yoshito always calls me Miko. Miko is a girl's name. 
But Yoshito gave it to me, so I love it. Miko. Hmm. Hmm. Aos poucos as peças estão se conectando. Na verdade já se conectaram, né? Mas... É. <risos> então parece que realmente o Pete é realmente a Miko. O Miko. Que seria o gato do Mizushima. Entre aspas, gato. Ele achava que era um gato. Mas ele era velho, então... Né? Acontece. Só que aqui não. Ok. É, a gente volta aqui pra cima. Ok. Então falta esse lado aqui pra gente descobrir as coisas. Ou talvez achar o Pit, né? A gente já conseguiu, acho que, algumas informações. Talvez... Eu acho que ainda deva ter mais uma ou duas, sei lá. Não sei. Talvez tenha, talvez não. Ok. Aqui tem mais uma. Na cana Broadway Construction Part 5. The basement of Broadway House owns house the vacuum tube computer within its walls. It has been brought into the building after the end of W... Uh, eu não sei. Eu, talvez seja um número romano, eu não sei da W. Dante. By war criminal who evaded arrest, sh arrest shielded from the prying eyes of MacArthur's GHQ. The vacuum tube computer proposes those days remains a mystery. It's possible it could have been utilized in such f in for things such as mathematical computations or code breaking, but such a speculation is unconfirmed. As time went on, they, there was eventually no body left to carry on the originally proposed set for for the terminal. Cara, quanto mais eu leio, mais eu bugo, tá ligado? At that point, the computer was a printed bird inside a wall somewhere. It's dark in here. All dark. I can't see a thing. It's okay being in the dark. I'm not scared of it or anything, but it's never been this dark before. Yusto's not here. I don't even smell him. I can't go outside. Yusto, where are you? Yusto! Yusto! Please, sit me on your lap and pat my head again. Yusto! Yusto! Now you know, now you know who I really am. I am, I am. So it began. Do I have to say this is a bit more than I have bargained for? If this keeps up, the building going to collapse for sure. Who am I? Somebody, anybody, tell me. Então aqui a gente tem que falar quem o Pete é. Please, who am I? É... Miko, não é? Eu acho que é mais fácil falar Miko. Que seria o primeiro nome dele. Tipo, o primeiro nome mesmo dele. Deu certo? Yeah, that's right. My name is Miko. Yoshito is my friend. Pete is your friend. Yoshito's calling out for me. He's been looking for me this whole time. He found me. Yoshito. Will, looks like the trimmers have stopped just in the nick of time too. That's my assistant for you. You've done well. Now I don't have to worry about any broken coffee cups. <laughs> Miko, Miko, it's really you! Yoshito, I'm so sorry, you've been waiting for me for so long. I'm the one who should be apologized here, Miko. I'm the one who left you alone this whole time, I'm so sorry, my friend. No, it's, real, it's okay, really. You don't have to be sorry. I know you've been waiting for me since the day you had to go. Oh, Miko. Thank you, if it wasn't for you, I'd never live to see Miko with my own eyes again. Huh? I should probably explain, you see, back when the vacuum tuber computer room was still around, I lived here in this building away from my family. The computer room was where I used to work. The only family I've ever had with me the whole time was Miko here. I talked with Miko about everything there, 
my memories of my family, Fuyume, Yuki, anything of the help, anything to help keep my loneliness at bay in there. He should join me in the computer room and we we'll spend many, many hours together over the years. Eventually they closed down the room and sealed the whole thing with off with a thick wall like it was never there to begin with. It was around that time that I lost Miko too. I couldn't find him whenever I looked. I had a bad feeling about where he might have ended up and come back here who knows how many times to rescue him. But in the end I couldn't do anything for him. I gave up and on over time nearly forgot about him. Before I knew it, it had been decades since we'd last been together. I can't think enough for making this happen. We could, Dorga. We could have been reunited without you, kid. Thank you, thank you so much. Now we can go back to living together again. Thank you. I'll never, ever forget this day. Ah, pelo menos isso. Algo bom aconteceu. I see, nice work. I can only imagine how hard it was, but you really did a good job. So our pit was actually a cat named Miko, sealed deep inside a wall alo along with the old vacuum tube computer from the American op occupation days. And somehow using the beauty's intranet, or rather the power of its ley line, he merged with the computer and became a Digimon. That old cat's had a hell of a life, wouldn't you agree, Takumi? We can't say for sure what the actual simulation process entailed, but at this point we know better than the double did happen. It's amazing just how much and yet how little the digital and real worlds are seen from no off from one another. I imagine the reason Peach showed up again after all these those years is because of the digital wave of Dormilus we've seen. But you know, there's still one thing about the whole story that bugs me a little. You mentioned that towards the end, old man Mizushima said, now we can go back to living together again, right? What do you think he meant by that? Not only that, but in the case you solved earlier, where he was the one behind the urban legends, how did he keep breaking into the building? Let's assume for the sake of argument that he somehow had a sex to entrance the let him come and go at the time and he did. If he had physically been getting into the building so much that way, so much that way that he was being reported, you'd think something would have gone differently, huh? Got any theories you'd like to propose? Yoshito Mizushima. If we looked into his backstory, we might be able to find our answers pretty easily. What do you think? Should we dig a little, a little more? Uh, please leave us be. Don't go looking for us. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's understandable, then it's probably best we do indeed let sleeping dogs lie. Alternatively, we could let the occult cl club kids know about this. I bet they have a real field day going after it. I mean, they came face to face with a real... You know what? Nah, let's keep it our to ourselves. Not all stories in this world need to be solved. Nakano Broadway brings many things together. The spirit world and the world living, the normal and the surreal, and now the physical and the digital. Truly, enough is impossible in this crazy hole, hole in the wall we call home. Hmm. Podiam ter feito essa animaçãozinha aí melhor, né? Mas tudo bem. Ok. Tem alguma coisa aqui? Não, não, ok. Tem... Done. Well, looks like it's just you and me here again. The coaches look so empty well beat around. We better get more clients to keep them warm. Bem, não temos mais nada aqui. E aqui? It's not going to affect Examon for a while. Go be productive. Take on some cases. Então a gente tem que voltar a procurar casas. Ok. Bem. Eu vou estar parando então o vídeo por aqui, galera. Se você gostou do vídeo, deixe aquele gostei, aquele favorito para ajudar a divulgação. Comente aí embaixo dúvidas em relação a série, canal, dicas em relação a série, canal, séries futuras que vocês queiram ver no canal, por aí vai. E também se inscreva no meu canal para estar recebendo as atualizações da sua timeline do YouTube e estar dando aquela força para mim. Mas é isso aí então, galera. Valeu, falou, fui!